hello viewers in this video i'm going to work out question 20 which has two parts and uh, this question is uh, coming from a 2021 grade 12 internal mathematics paper one so part a reads in the diagram below a b is equal to three centimeters b c is equal to four centimeters a d is equal to 13 centimeters and angle a b c is equal to angle a c d which is equal to 90 degrees calculate the value of tan d a c so here's our diagram the angle a b c is shown there and the angle uh, a c d is shown as 90 degrees and also the sides given but b a is the point 1 comma 2 and b is the point negative 2 comma 5 find a b as a column vector so to start with we're going to work out the first part and uh, here we're going to find the value of tan dac so to work out tan dac we are going to apply pythagoras theorem because we need the sides ac and dc so if you've noted dac is this angle which is here angle dac is positioned here and tan dsc is going to equal to opposite which is dc over adjacent which is ac so the angle at a is opposite to this side dc and adjacent to the side ac so for that we we'll use pythagoras theorem to calculate this side and also this side so we start with calculating ac so to find ac i'll let ac be x so this means that x square is equal to ac is the hypotenuse so this means we are going to add the squares of these two sides so three square plus four square and what we get here is three square is nine plus four square is 16 so x square equal to nine plus uh, 16 that gives a 25 to find x we apply square root so this square and the square root to simplify given as x and square root of 25 is five centimeters so this means a c is equal to five centimeters so that's our ac then we also need to find the side dc now the side dc is the adjacent side because the angle is the opposite to this side so side ad is the hypotenuse so this means that the side AC is also adjacent so DC and AC are adjacent so to find DC we'll say DC square is equal to 13 the hypotenuse square minus the side AC which was saying it's adjacent so 5 square so DC square is equal to 13 square is 169 take away 5 square is 25 so the difference gives 144 and applying the square root both sides square and square root simplifies here giving us dc equal to what is the square root of 144 that is just 12 and uh, this is in centimeters so we put centimeters so dc is 12 centimeters so we found the sides ac which is 5 centimeters and the side dc which is 12 centimeters and then we apply uh, the function tan so tan dac tan dac first of all tan Theta is given by opposite over adjacent. So now relating this formula to what we have, 
we are going to get tan. So tan angle is DAC. And this is equal to opposite. If this angle is this, then the opposite is DC, which is 12. And this is over AC. So AC is the adjacent, so 5. And this is the solution. So tan DAC is the same as 12 over 5. That is the value of uh, tan DSC. So that's the first part. We now go to the second part. So now for the second part, the points A and B have been given. The point A has 1, 2, the point B has negative 2, 5. So we want to find A, B as a column vector. First of all, these points given A and B can be changed to column vectors since they are given as coordinates. So we'll change the points A and B to column vectors. So that would mean an introduction of O and an arrow. So this is coming from the origin. So O, A will get, first of all, we'll write the value of X here on top and below the value of y so one two as a column vector o a is one two as a, a column vector so this is from the origin then b is going to be o b from o to b this is negative two then five there so these are the two vectors that we can come up with from the points A and B. So now we're going to use these two column vectors to calculate the column vector AB. So that is just AB vector is equal to, it's a subtraction of column vector OB minus column vector OA. So OB vector minus o a vector so what is o b vector minus o a vector a b vector is equal to o b is negative 2 5 then this is subtracting 1 2 and for that we get a b column vector as what is negative 2 minus 1 so negative 2 minus 1 this gives negative 3 5 take away 2 gives 3 so as a column vector a b has a negative 3 and 3 and that is just our solution for this part b which is a question on vectors so thank you so much for watching this video check out the solutions to question 21 in my next video